what up guys and welcome back to another one. Oh, it is four in the morning it's been a long time since i've got up this early but finally we are on the way to our first turkey hunt of the season i'm sorry i've had y'all waiting for so long you know me i'm a shotgun guy and it's bow season only so i'm not gonna waste much time here before we go get on the road because we have an hour and a half drive at four in the morning yeah but I want to show you guys this real quick. This is the Performance long sleeve t-shirt from Ducks. It is perfect for till season, turkey season, dove season. If you guys want to pick one of these bad boys up, I will link them down in the description below. But let's get on the road. We got one heck of a drive, let me tell you. Oh boy, you guys have been requesting the turkey hunting. A lot of you have been going, Bobby, when are you going to get out and go turkey hunting? Are you going to turkey hunt? Well, that's what today is. We are going to get after it. Today, man, it, before we get started here, before we get started on this video, I got a little something, something to say here. Feels like it's been forever since I have been on the road in the morning, in the early a.m., starting a video on my way to the hunt you know this is how we start out a lot of our hunts in the morning uh camera in the truck and uh we're rolling down the road trying to get to the field right well something happened yesterday something with my son and, and it was a close call it was a close encounter with a vehicle let's just keep it at that and let me tell you guys it really it, it really was an eye opener just an eye opener of how important uh, everything is, how important life is, and, and, and I'm telling you guys, hold your hold your loved ones tight, man. Uh, friends, family, there's nothing more important than family. But why I bring it up is because it just makes me so extra thankful for everything I have in my life, especially you guys, especially the channel, my family, first and foremost. I want to say thank you before we even get rolling here to you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for supporting me and allowing me to do this open up videos at five in the morning it's five on the dot how awesome is that i love this i missed it so enough with the mushy gushy thank you guys thank you but we are on the road we are uh, an hour into the drive i got about an hour and a half drive total we're going with Cameron at Wing Chaser. Now, a lot of you guys know who Cameron is, and a lot of you know who Wing Chaser is. Follow him right here on Instagram. They're a uh, guide service located here in central Kansas. Wing Chasers primarily do waterfowl hunts, but this year they really stepped it up and they got into the tur turkey game really, really hard. They have been busting heads. I mean, youth season has just been insane for them. They've got a lot of kids on birds. So Cameron called me a few days ago and he's like, Bobby, you need to get over here. We got birds everywhere. We got long beards literally strutting everywhere. You need to come whack one of these bad boys. I was like, man, I'm not that good with my bow. I haven't shot it all year. I really don't trust myself with my compound bow. Uh, it's not a bad bow. I've, I've had it dialed in. I've shot paper with it, everything and it just still isn't right especially for turkey such a smaller animal compared to a deer i was like man i don't want to waste an opportunity having a uh, turkey at my feet and you know five yard 10 yard 12 yard shot he's like oh man don't worry you can shoot my crossbow so he has a crossbow that i'm going to shoot today i think i've shot one at a target a few times but i've never used one for hunting purposes i'm happy to be here with y'all i'm glad you guys are enjoying the channel thank you guys we're on our way to the field. I'll probably turn on the camera once the sun starts coming up. Well, we're in the blind. The sun is coming up. I hope you can hear me. Uh, we got the pop-up all put up here. We've got three of us in here. Three deep. All just hanging out. But we got to be quiet.
Tom come in to about 30 yards. He was just not having it. Could have shot him with a shotgun, but uh, kind of get a shot on with the crossbow. So we're picking up. Go to the next spot. Stay tuned. Well, no go on the first spot. The first spot, uh, Tom rolled in, but he was sitting at, I don't know, 30, probably 30, 35 yards. A little too far for the crossbow. Now, if I would have had the old shotgun out, the shotgun would have smoked his brains right on out. But unfortunately, it's not shotgun season. Not yet, anyways. Old gobble master back there, dude. First time he did, I was like, what in the heck are you doing? And literally got a response just like that. Did it probably another five times and he had them gobblers just freaking fired up. But uh, that was the only Tom to roll through. No go on him, we got another spot. Oh yeah, there they are. But we're going to another spot and uh, we're gonna try it. It's a little late, it's sitting at 8.45 in the morning still here. We have a little bit of time left to get in, get sat up and see if we can make it happen. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are going, He's never gonna kill him goblin like that. What the heck's, what the heck's he thinking? They've actually killed 14 birds in 10 days. Like I said, they've been doing a lot of youth hunts, taking a lot of kids out, and yeah, they have very good, very good averages. 14 birds, 10 days. 14 birds, 10 days. Good lordy. Well, new spot. Um, we were gonna try to set up a new pop-up blind. But uh, on the way over here, we actually seen him, and we're going to try to do a little sneak attack. So, sneak attack with the crossbow, you know, it's unlikely that it'll work out, but if it does, it'll be epic. Oh, my. That's no joke. There we go. Man, the distance on that thing, Shit. I went below the bottom yeah. crosshair too. So you were aiming way above it. Oh yeah. It yeah. was probably 30 yards there. Yeah, and it dove. It dove like seven, eight yards before him. I didn't think it was going to stop that shy. Well, I guess that's what I get for never shooting the bow before. <laughs> that was fun though. Holy cow. My, my legs are freaking jello. Where, do you know where that arrow went? Never find it. That was cool. Well, we tried. Definitely tried. It was hard with the crossbow. God, oh, I would have just annihilated his pants off with a shotgun. Oh, oh it would have been smoked with a shotgun. I put the bottom cross here, I mean on its back. 
and it still stopped like seven yards short. Really? Yeah. Hey buddy. Oh, hi Jackson. Hi Jackson. He can getting old. My buddy's getting old, aren't you? <sighs> My poor Jackson is getting old on me. His hips are starting to give out and he's limping everywhere, I'm telling you. But speaking of dogs, I do have a huge, huge surprise uh, coming your guys' way. You will see it when the video goes up. I'm sure you can guess what that is. But what a heck of a day. I am completely exhausted. Just got back home. Getting up at 4.15 in the morning and then getting home at 3 in the afternoon from turkey hunting, oh, it wore me out. Now, it's not as bad as sitting like a, a thousand or two thousand decoys. It's not like that. It's just that, oh my goodness, I haven't got up that early and drove an hour and a half since snow goose season. I mean, honestly, I'm just like, I'm pooped. When you haven't done it for a while, when you haven't been in the grind for a while, whoo, it just slaps you. But real quick, we got a new product at Ducks, and it is these performance long sleeve t-shirts. That's what I wore today, turkey hunting. They're great for dove, turkey hunting. They're lightweight, they're breathable, they are fabulous. If you guys wanna pick one of these bad boys up, I will link them down in the description below. But honestly, what an epic day. I mean, I have never done a spot and stock like that. Never done it in my life. I've seen it done in, on videos where uh, they get behind a fan and you crouch down and, and you work your way towards the birds and you end up shooting one, which I did take the shot, came up a hair short. The arrow actually hit about five to seven yards short. Now, it's my bad that I didn't have any practice on that crossbow. That's Cameron's crossbow. I had never held it, had certainly never pulled the trigger. So it was a 30, 35 yard shot with a crossbow. That's pretty far. With a shotgun, it would have been an easy shot. Your boy just would have went, he would have been done. Heck, if it was shotgun, we, should, we could have shot three turkeys today pretty easily, especially that early morning Tom. He had a long old beard on him. I don't know how good we got it on camera for y'all, but that was a beautiful bird. But huge shout out to Cameron and Colby over at Wing Chasers. Awesome, awesome group of guys. They actually have some turkey dates left and available for May, some shotgun dates. So if you're interested in coming to Central Kansas and getting down on some Thunder Chickens with Wing Chasers, go to Instagram right here, follow them, and shoot them a DM. Say, hey, I found you on Bobby's video. I'm interested in coming and shooting some chickens. Let them know they're great guys and extremely friendly. But you guys have been requesting turkey hunts. I've been wanting to get out and turkey hunt. I haven't had a lot of time to do much scouting, so that's why I was like, yeah, I'll come, but I really don't want to shoot my compound bow. And Cameron's like, just shoot my crossbow. You'll love it. So we tried, we failed, but we gave it a heck of a try. And honestly, I had a great time. But like always, if you guys like this video, you got to hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed, you got to do so. Always coming out with different types of hunts, pigeon hunts, any type of hunting, I try to do it. We'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.